Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Jeanette's Beauty World. I'm Jeanette. I'm here to talk about makeup, do makeup try-ons, do subscription box unboxings, makeup hauls, mystery box unboxings. Today, I've got a big makeup haul. I'm going to show you everything I've bought in the past month, indie brands, Sephora, all that good stuff. If you want to see what I got, including what's on my face today, keep on watching. All right, welcome back everybody. So happy you stopped by to check out my video. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Uh, don't forget to subscribe before you leave if you like what you see and hit the notification bell so YouTube lets you know when I post new videos. Everybody leave me a like, leave me a dislike, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I like to get your um, ideas and input and I love getting comments from all you guys. So let's see. All this makeup I've got uh, this past month. <laughs> uh, here I've been trying to wean it down a little bit, but yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> All right, first I saw these were released by What's Up Beauty. These are new highlighters with a highlighter brush. Okay, so I just, when I saw somebody else open these, I was like, oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. So there's two highlighters in this new collection. Uh, one's called Wild Acacia, and the other one is called Safari Sunset. Okay, and these are Serengeti highlighters. Look at that packaging. So it's the same packaging. Okay, so this is Safari Sunset. I'm going to open this up and show you beautiful gold packaging. And then look at that. This is the Serengeti. <gasps> Look at that embossing. It is beautiful. All right. And then this one is the Wild Acacia. Okay. Yeah, I, I couldn't help myself. And there she is. You can see there's like two different shades. So let's see. So let me show you here. These are the two separate shades. And then this one, I'm going to put them together. Okay. Look at that. Stunning. Beautiful. And I'm going to do the other one, which again is the Safari Sunset. I'm going to do that and that. And then this third one, I'm going to mix them together. This one's mixed together. This is the lion's head, this is the background. So let's see here. And there's that. They are so pretty. So I can't wait to dive into these. I haven't tried them yet. And I got the whole set with the um, highlighter brush. Not that I need a new brush. <laughs> but you know how it is. So the next thing I got is from Milan Rowe, um, Milan Rowe Makeup, and I heard about her from uh, Jen Loves. I was watching, I forget if it, whether it was What's Up in Beauty or one of her Sunday Lives. I just love to watch her. And um, yeah, here's my Halloween earrings. Uh, but anyway, this uh, it's, it was a it's a young uh, indie brand, and it's woman owned and. She was going out of business. So this is what she had on sale. This is a eyeshadow palette. This collab with Doodles by the Bunny. And this is the card they sent. And it was, it was marked. I forget what it was, but with shipping and everything, it was like $19. So I said, well, let me go support this young indie brand. Look how pretty that is. Who couldn't get off the ground. And take that out and look at that pretty green palette. It's so pretty. Look at that green and gold. I'll swatch a couple for you. Let's see. So we got Calamine and Kakwisti, <laughs> Ivy League and Ivy. Ivy League, Ivy. And then 
vine and the ivy. So vine is here and then ivy, the ivy, and then jewelweed is there. Cute names. Then we got pistachio, poison ivy, oh, um, allergy season, new love, new leaf, new leaf. And then such, such an itch, such an itch. Don't be rash and not today, Batman. <laughs> That's a nice dark shade. So there's a nice light green up in the corner. And then this nice dark, let's see, I guess it's a black. And then next one is a dark, deep, like burgundy red. These feel really nice. And then the ivy. So oh, kind of a blue shade. So let's show you. They look nice. They swatch nice. It's a light, light green there. It's a pale green. I'm sure they're blendable. They seem to be blendable. Yeah. Blend nice. All right. And so let's do a couple of these shimmers. Oh, a little kick up in the pan there. Uh, I'm going to do this poison ivy, which is this green and gold combo. That's pretty. Um, ivy League, Ivy, Ivy League, Ivy. That pretty gold. And then Vena. This is a more, it's soft, but it's a, a chunkier kind of glitter. This one called Vena. All right. That is quite chunky there. Those are those four shades. Pretty. Um, a little. Well, you can see them kind of shiny. I wonder if we can build that up. What did I use? Ivy League. Oh, Poison Ivy. And Ivy League. I'm going to try to build them up a little bit more. There's the Poison Ivy. And the Ivy League. Okay. That's better. That's better. So you can build it up. This is the real chunky one over here. So I see a little bit of um, glitter like outside the pan there. But I'm excited to try this. It seems like a nice formula. Uh, I would just be careful with the, the glittery shade there. <laughs> you don't want it all over your face. All right. So that was, this was the second thing I got in my little makeup haul here. All right, the next thing I bought was from Tarte. I got the new Man Eater palette. I bought it the one last year and I like, I like it. And because it looks like a little laptop. So this is this year's version. I know you've probably seen it, you know, but here we go. Here's mine. <laughs> So beautiful. I can't wait to play with those blues and greens. Yeah, and then there's some nice neutral tones. I'm going to try this out for work this week, These the neutral tones. And, um, yeah, I tried the coffee shop from uh, Juvia's Place this week. Got lots of com compliments on my eye look that, that day, or my whole makeup look. It's like, oh, your makeup looks so good today. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm like, doesn't that look good every day? But you can never know, right? <laughs> All right, so there's my Maneater palette. I just want to swatch this kind of bluey purple shade. Look how pretty that is. And then Nightfall. It's like a dark green. The blue one's called Mysterious. And then Sizzle. Oh, look at that. That is just... And then here's one that's not embossed. Ooh, that's a little chunky. Desirable. Oh, those first three. Oh my goodness. They are smooth. Even this chunky one's not too bad. Look how pretty they are. Beautiful jewel tones there. I think that blue one is almost a dual chrome. What do you think? Can you tell? <laughs> All right. So that was that. 
then I have a small, uh, little Sephora haul. I had some points to use, so I figured I was going to try. I had some things in my, you know, my want list. So the first thing I got was a highlighter from House Labs. Wanted to try one of these, and I chose the shade. What is this called again? Fire Opal. And I say it's uh, Lady Gaga's favorite. Look how pretty. <gasps> Oh, that would go with today's look, don't you think? <gasps> look at that. That is stunning. That is stunning. I love it. All right. So that was one thing I got in my Sephora haul. Here's the box it comes in. Then I got, um, oh, from one size, it says Until Dawn. This is their his setting spray. I wanted to try this because I have the makeup remover spray, which I love. That stuff takes your makeup off like that. It just like melts off your face or your arm if you're doing swatches. So there's the setting spray. So I just want to see what the mist looks like. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice mist. All right. <laughs> so I'm excited to try that. And then I got... I took things out of the boxes. This one I didn't take out. This is from Tower 28. This is the mascara. It's called Make Waves Mascara. So I've been wanting to try this. It's in, is it say Jet? So I've been wanting to try this mascara. That's what the bottle looks like. Okay. So today I have on on my Essence Slash Princess and um, the Thrive Tubing, Tubing Mascara on top of it. So that's what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And I seem to do fine with those two mascaras. No allergic reactions. <laughs> As you know, I'm very sensitive. And then I got the um, House Labs. Where is High Glam Concealer? Oh, that's, no, that's Natasha Denona one. I got the House Labs uh, by Lady, Lady Gaga. And this is the Skin Tech concealer in the shade where did I get here um fair rosy oh three yeah I can read <laughs> it was just hard to see there we go all right so this is what it looks like so I think I tried it once um it seemed okay I I have the um uh, foundation and I do like that so yeah that, I like it to brighten up my under eyes and things like that so I'm gonna try it again because I'm not sure if it was the primer I used it seemed a little off because I generally generally like the foundation so then I got another concealer I got the Natasha Denona high glam concealer concealer I've seen so many people really love this concealer it's in RN1 is the shade. So that's red neutral one. Okay. Because I do have pink undertones. I burn very easy. I burn and peel. <laughs> but that's what that looks like. This is a cool shape. And let's see what shade, what this looks like. Okay. So that one is a Natasha Denona one. And then the top one is the House Labs. So, excited to try these out. Today I'm wearing a Fenty Beauty one. It's on this Fenty Beauty uh, foundation. In case you were wondering. All right. And then what else did I get? Oh, a sample. Chance Chanel. A little sample of the perfume. I'm going to spray that right now. I don't want to end up with a headache. And then Moroccan Oil Shower Gel. Okay, so it's a little shower gel with Moroccan oil. I do like to use Moroccan oil in my hair. And then the last thing I got, I got one of their little sets. It's from Supergoop, Everyday Faves. I do have a face SPF that I really like. I use it when I went to Colorado. I used it underneath my makeup, and it was fantastic. No reactions, didn't burn, <laughs> and I didn't get sunburned. 
So this comes with a 50 FPS glow stick and this cute little bag. With this, I like the big fat zipper. Okay. And then it comes with uh, unseen sunscreen, SPF 40. And then we have a glow screen, SPF 40. And I think sunrise brush by Trim. Okay, so there's that one. And then there's this um, resetting uh, refreshment mist. And it's an SPF 40. I thought, how cool is that? You can spray your face later in the day to refresh your SPF. And I love this bag. So, yeah. So I'm excited to try these out. I'm excited to try everything out. Um, ooh, this highlighter. All right. So that is that. All right. And the um, last thing I want to show you, Odin's Eye. I got the Angelica Liquis uh, new collab. Uh, and Odin's Eye X Angelica. This is her second round. Uh, I bought the first round. So I have that and now i've got this so i kind of took things out of the box but um everything's in here the palette's over here but i got the the little scarf so i have a little collection of these scarves now but look how cute they are there's angelica it's like her face is like half dead and half alive and uh yeah so there's that it comes with the scarf because I did get the whole collection, so I got these little guys. I forget what they are. Keychains. Plastic. And then this little, I just thought they were cute. <laughs> yeah, it's very cute. So I was able to get those because I ordered like day one. And then there's five lip products I want to show you. And they come. They all look the same. Let's say the, the shine is quicksand. And so that's like a, a gloss one. Matte is a matte lipstick called Shadow Creature. Okay. And then there's uh, Shine Spectral. So that's another lip gloss. And then we have Glow Radioactive, which is, a, I guess, a lip shine gloss because it's a glowy one. And then we have a matte swamp fog. Okay. One of these is a stain. Which one's a stain? I forget which one. It says on the boxes, I think. Shine, glow, here we go. Lip gloss, lip gloss. Um, matte lip stain and that is a shadow creature okay so shadow creature is a stain so i've uh i did some swatches i am going to put them right here for you all right and then we have the little card she puts in here Happy Halloween, beautiful. I'm so proud and excited for you to try out round two of my collection, collaboration with Odin Dye. We worked so hard on these pieces to bring you the most amazing collection for Halloween. Thank you for your support. I hope you'll love your goodies. Okay, so there's that. So then the other thing is we've got two palettes. And this is what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing the Trick or Treat palette with a little crossover. The second one's called Little Ghost Palette. I borrowed one shade from the Little Ghost Palette. So let me show you here. So it comes with a mirror. Gorge, I love the um, artwork on these. Beautiful. So the Trick or Treat Palette, it's like an orangey green. All right. And I wanted to do green, and then I was like, why don't you just do orange? And I put some green on my lower lash line. So I used a lot of these colors. I used uh, this in my, as a transition shade. I used uh, this one uh, in the outer corner. And then I deepened up the outer corner with this one here. And I did use this. First, I did this on my lower lash line. And then this I added to my lower lash line. 
and then this green sprinkle I added to my lower lash line and the um, shimmers on my lid were this kind of brown shimmer and then I used this lighter no this one on the inner part of my eye for it to shimmer and so I used a lot of shades here and then I went into this palette the little ghost palette okay there's the artwork look at that the purples and blues a uh, few neutrals but I went in for this yellow shade so I added that yellow right on the inner part of my eye you can see it a little bit and I use it to buff out the shades at the top above the transition but yeah are they yeah but look at that they are so pretty okay yeah so that's what do you want to see a couple swatches let's do a couple swatches i'll show you the green i put on my lower lash line <gasps> look at that and then this brown i put on my lid yeah this goldy color I put on my lid. Pretty. And let's see what this dark green looks like. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> it's so nice and super pigmented. That initial orange went, look at that. The initial orange shade went on really well. Um, I didn't have any issues of blending anything out. Or combining issue combining shades together. Let me show you the orange and this red. Look how pigmented they are. And then I use this on the, to deepen things up. It's like a dark green. And then I want to show you that yellow. I, th I think this is a really nice yellow shade. It showed up really well. Look at that. Uh, how smooth they went on there so pretty so i can't wait to play with this palette some more um i'm dying to do some purpley pinky blue looks here <laughs> i could do some neutral tones for work i'm just so excited so excited um, I'm going to put um, pictures here of the palette before I dug into them. Okay. So that is uh, my makeup haul for this past month. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know what you think. Everybody leave me a comment. Did anybody else get any of these things? Uh, anybody else get the Odin's Eye? I'll try to leave links down below. I'm not affiliated with anybody. I don't have any discount codes for anybody. Um, <laughs> It's just, I just have fun and just wanted to share with you. And in case you're wondering, my earrings, um, if you follow Makeup Just for Fun, her name's Amanda. She also has an Etsy shop called Just for Fun Style, and she makes beautiful earrings. So these, the maple leaves, she actually added in as a uh, free gift. Okay. And then I bought the pumpkins, and then I got some other fall leaves that are like, three layers of dangly leaves which i wanted to work this week <laughs> and everybody liked my halloween earrings this week and that's all i got for you for this so let me know what you think everybody leave me a comment i love you all and i'll see you in the next video bye, bye.